another part of the role play. Hello there, ladies. Welcome to the fancy restaurant. Do you have a reservation? Ah, uh, yeah. We're here for dinner for Princess Poppy's birthday. Yes, and um, who is the princess? It's me. I'm the princess. Oh, well, okay then. Usually a princess wears a tiara, but it's okay though. Follow me. I'll bring you your menus shortly. Okay, come on, girls. Let's go. Hey, wait for me. Jeez, I'm so excited. Okay, ladies, we have a booth to fit all three of you, so will this spot take for you guys? Yes, of course, thank you. Yes, thank you. Um, yeah, thanks. You're welcome. I'll bring you guys' menus very shortly. Let's just grab this. They can just share a menu. Hi there, I could only bring one menu, but you guys don't mind sharing, right? Yeah, of course we don't mind. Right, well, here you are. Um, the server will be here with you shortly. Um, let me know if you need anything else and help you guys self to the bar. Although, um, no drinking unless you're over 21. So yeah. Um, yeah. Hope you guys enjoy your service. Well, time for me to go and play the piano. Ding, 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 ding. Just pretend he's playing a song. May I have your attention, please? May I present to you Queen Deirdre, King Frederick, and their lovely beloved daughter, Princess Poppy. Wait, what? That's Princess Poppy? Then who did I just let into the restaurant? Uh, hello, your majesties. Um, welcome to the fancy restaurant. Um, please, let me go and take you guys to your table. Thank you so much, kind sir. Uh, yes, right this way. Come on, your majesties, I'll escort you guys to your table. Come on, my lovely wife and my lovely daughter. Come on, sweetheart, we'll make you the best birthday ever. Um, okay, but I'm sure you guys know it's not my birthday. <laughs> right, well, let me give them their menus. I could have sworn I let Princess Bobby in already. Oh, well, maybe I'm just seeing things. All right, everyone, here are your menus. We do have only two left because the other ones are being occupied at the moment. Um, excuse me, what do you mean they're being occupied? I thought that we had the restaurant reserved for us only. Yes, well, um, apparently, um, another person who claims the Princess Poppy is actually here with her friends. Oh, no, I told Poppy that it's not going to work if they're going to find out that I'm not her. Well, kindly tell them to please leave. We are trying to have a family dinner. No, um, since it's my birthday, I decide to let them stay. Um, okay, sweetie. Well, here are you guys' menus. And here you are, your highness. The waiter shall be here shortly. Jeez, what a crazy day I just had. Um, I'll be right back, Mom and Dad. I just have to go and use the restroom right quick. Okay, sweetie, hurry back. Poppy? Holly, what are you doing here? I should be asking you the same thing. Your parents brought me here because it, they claimed that it's your birthday today. Yes, and it is my birthday. I just did not want to spend it with them. I wanted to spend it with my friends. Um, Poppy, who is this? And why does she look like you? Guys, I can explain everything. Yes, please do explain because I don't know if I can take this charade any longer. Fine. Everyone, this is Holly. And I met her at the marketplace. She was a poor girl, and I decided to help her get off the streets. And I was like, I didn't like the princess life that much. So I offered her a spot in the palace and for her to take my place for a day so I can come hang out with you guys. Wow, you gave up your princess duties for us? That's so sweet. Yeah, but I don't know how long the charade will play up with your parents. They're here, and they're going to be ordering food. Which, by the way, I have to go back anyway because they think I'm you. I just hope they don't come over here. Yeah. Well, I guess we'll talk after dinner, I suppose. Yeah, maybe one day you can meet my friends a little bit more. Well, why doesn't she just sit with us now? Well, I suppose I can. Yeah, come on, we'll save you a seat. Okay. Meanwhile, downstairs. Oh my gosh, Carl, what are you doing? Why are you slacking off? Uh, I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. Do you know who is upstairs? Uh, just adorable customers. No, you idiot. The princess and her family are here. The royals are here. They're celebrating the princess's birthday today, and we have to make their dinner perfect. Otherwise, we'll be out of a job. Oh, dear. Yeah, so get your butt up there to the serving floor and take their orders. Hey, <laughs> hey, yes, ma'am. Jeez, I cannot deal with him today. 
<laughs> I'm gonna go and take their orders. <laughs> Hello, ladies. I'm so sorry about that. My name is Carl. Can I take your orders? Um, yeah. I'll just have a water. I have some of your carrot fizz. And I will have your pickle juice fizz. Go on, Holly. Tell them what you want. And it's on us. We'll pay for it. Um, I'll just take a water is all. Okay, and have you guys decided what you wanted to eat tonight? Well, Poppy, you're the birthday girl. Why don't you tell them? No, you're a guest, Holly. Why don't you tell them? And besides, I feel kind of bad for making you take my place like that, so you tell them what you want. Okay, well, I'll take your lasagna. I'll take your pepper pizza, the spiciest you have. I'll just take a spaghetti. And I'll just take some macaroni and cheese with some breadsticks on the side. And all four of us will have salads. <laughs> okay, coming right up. I'll just take your menu and your food will be ready in like 20 minutes. That waiter was weird. I know, but he just could be special is all. <clears throat> Hello, your majesties. My name is Carl. Can I take your orders? Um, yes, I'll take your finest wine and your steak with some rice and vegetables, steamed, please. And I will take your chicken leg with macaroni and cheese on the side, as well as some mashed potatoes or potato wedges, whichever you guys sell. I'll just have a water and a salad. Uh, yes. Oh, and, um, kind sir, do you happen to know where our daughter Poppy is? She claimed that she was going to the bathroom, but we cannot find her anywhere. Um, I just sp spoke in with the princess with her friends over there. Um, I don't know. You ought to go check for yourself. I'm sorry, your majesties. Anyway, um, I'll get your menus and your order will be ready in about 20 to 30 minutes. Uh, okay then. Well, we'll look for her. Thank you so much for your help. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> I took their orders. How did I do, boss? Um, I'm not your boss. I'm just the receptionist. Oh, well, anyway, they're ready for you to get the bed used down. I just brought this one already. Uh, yeah, thanks. <laughs> You're welcome. I will take the menus up to the front, your majesties. You may go and look for your daughter. Well, should we go and look for her, sweetie? I think we should. It's not like her to miss her own birthday dinner. Well, come on, let's go. Okay. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to actually eat at a real restaurant. I could never afford it. Well, it's okay. Tonight, we're going to treat you like a princess. Say, when is your birthday, by the way? Oh, it was actually yesterday on the 12th. Oh my gosh. Apparently, my parents said that they have a twin sister that was born on April the 12th. Huh, what a coincidence. Yeah, and it's no coincidence that we both look just alike. Hmm. Oh well, maybe it's just a coincidence. Poppy, what are you doing here? Yes, sweetie, we've been looking all over for you. Uh, hi, Mom and Dad. I was just hanging out with my friends. With commoners? Okay, look, they're not commoners. They're actually rich, and they're my friends. First of all, lady, you may not speak to us like that. Um, I can because I'm Poppy. But how is that possible? You're holy. The girl in the tiara is Poppy. Actually, your majesties, we have a confession to make. The both of us do. Few minutes later. And so that's the story. I'm sorry that we tricked you, your majesties. I can't believe you would do such a thing. We'll talk in the carriage later, but for right now, you must come with us, Poppy. Holly, give her her crown back. I'm sorry, Poppy. It's okay. Don't be sorry. We'll figure this out. Well, drama. I know, right? I should have brought the popcorn. Look, why don't we all just enjoy Poppy's birthday together? And then we can settle all this matter once the day ends. That's a good idea. Can we, Mom and Dad, please? <sighs> Fine. But this discussion is not over.